If your business is in the state of Virginia and you're looking for up to $100,000, this video is for you. This is Business Media TV. My name is Mimi, the Business Advisor. On this channel, we advise business owners on how to start, grow, and sustain their businesses. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. We'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to our channel for more information about grants and business and join our growing community. So let's just go straight into the video. Thank you. So in today's video, we're going to be talking specifically about Virginia and it's a rebuild Virginia small business grant program. It's expanded its eligibility criteria to allow more small businesses and nonprofits to apply. Any small business or nonprofit with $10 million or less in gross revenue or 250 or fewer employees may now apply. Let us quickly cover eligibility. You must meet all the requirements to be eligible for the grant. You must be a C Corp, pass through entity, S Corp, partnership, LLC, or other legal entity that is organized separately from the owner. 501c3, 501c7, or 501c19 organizations, Virginia tribes, sole proprietors, or independent contractors. If you want more information, we'll drop a link to our previous video where we talked about the business structures right up there. So in addition to that, your primary place of business must be in Virginia, 250 or fewer full-time employees, gross revenue of 10 million or less, and you must have been operating prior to September 12, 2020 when the COVID disaster was declared. You have to be in good standing with the Virginia State Corporation Commission and you engage in obviously a legal activity. These will not be eligible. You're delinquent in Virginia state income taxes and you do not have a payment plan in place. If you're a lobbyist, if you're owner or principal having 20% or greater ownership interest and not more than 60 days delinquent on child support obligations wholly owned subsidiary or division of a parent company then you're not eligible expenses eligible for reimbursement approved rebuild VA applicants may receive grants of three times their average monthly recurring eligible operating expenses plus COVID related expenses if applicable up to a maximum of $100,000. Eligible recurring operating expenses include payrolls and benefits, mortgage payments, rents or lease payments, utilities, principal and interest payments for business loans incurred before or during the emergency. Eligible COVID related operating expenses made on or after March 24th, 2020. Expenses required to comply with OSHA and VDH safety standards as far as COVID-19 prevention is concerned. Expenses necessary to reconfigure business facilities to comply with physical distancing standards. Expenses incurred for utilization or phase in of touch free technology or equipment, purchase of equipment, infrastructure, technology, or other services to prepare for and respond to coronavirus, purchase of equipment, infrastructure, technology, and other capital assets necessary to prevent the transmission of COVID-19 and provide a healthy and safe environment. So if you've done anything to improve your business or premises because of COVID, those will be covered. If you've been getting value from this, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Our question for today is, what do you think about this grant and um, have you been able to take advantage of 
most of the grants that we've been discussing on our channel the required documentation so you have your 2019 federal income tax 2020 year-to-date interim financial statement and then the virginia substitute w9 form it says note this is a virginia w9 not the federal w9 form it must include the dons number i mean i must fulfill that completely the current owner photo id which includes their virginia driver's license virginia real id permanent resident card passport and then it just shows you the format when you're uploading it will be owner id then business name for 501c3 501c7 and 501c19 organizations only irs letter of determination certificate of fictitious name if applicable for recurring expenses you have to submit necessary documents to attest or to support your expenses like payroll and benefit you can use any of the following your vec fc 21 slash 20 quarterly report payroll tax filings form 1099 misc form 1040 es with worksheets other documentation to demonstrate the qualifying salary or payroll for sole proprietors, your 2019 tax return showing gross income from 1099, and this is for individual contractor applicants only. The mortgage statement, so you provide June 2020, July 2020, and August 2020 business mortgage statements from your bank. Rent or lease agreements, provide your current rent or lease agreement for your business space. Utility bills, provide the information for each utility bill and it will be for any three months between september 2019 and august 2020 eligible types of utilities are your electricity bill your gas bill your water or sewer bill internet and your telephone bills principal and interest payments for loans you need three monthly statements data between september 2019 and august 2020 for covid related expenses so this is only applicants who did not receive cares act funding are eligible to receive rebuild virginia grant funds for covid related expenses so that's the caveat for this all covid related expenses must be incurred on or after march 24 2020 as far as documentation is concerned paid invoices contracts cancelled checks and again upload that to the website so the filing instructions it says you know make sure you have everything handy before you start your application you download the w9 form electronically format all your supporting documents so if you have a scanner scan everything you can use cell phone scanners normally it takes about 21 days to review and make a decision but you have to have all your information handy any missing documents may make that longer than the 21 days you must create an account and log in to reveal Virginia Grant Fund portal to start the application, get submitted. You know, you must be prepared to enter detailed information. So when you're applying for this grant, make sure you have time, you have everything you need so you can put your best foot forward. Applicants will automatically receive an email confirming successful submission with an application number for future reference. And you'll be notified via email whether it's it is approved or denied this is the process for the review approval and disbursement applications will be reviewed as they are received to determine completeness and eligibility applicants will be notified via email for any more information or documentation they would make attempts obviously to reach you for more information so please allow 21 business days for review and approval and then grants will be disbursed by check from the virginia treasurer's office allow 21 days for check to be mailed after approval so you're looking at roughly around 42 days so plan ahead accordingly and applicants can check application status by logging into the application account if you apply by paper please send the package to this address or questions can be directed to this email address thank you so very much for watching we'll see you in our next video bye